Mark, um, Israel is moving into its next stage of memorious onslaught in Rafa, and there are no words to describe the horrendous outcome that we may see, where 1.5 million Palestinian people are under bombardment in a small space of land. And in the midst of this horrendous scene, it is so heartening and uplifting to see the Trinity students taking action to insist on divestment and sanctions and an end to cooperation with this uh, genocidal state. And they are doing a great job in working with the authorities in Trinity to force divestment from the Israeli state. Look at us in here. We're well paid, we're well resourced, we haven't done a thing. We talk, 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 we've done nothing. And I want to put it back to you to start taking sanctions against Israel. Take a leaf from the students' books who are all over the world now protesting to demand sanctions against this, uh, against this onslaught. And Deputy Boyd Barrett has two letters here from you, one from 356 health workers who have personally signed it to say, do something please, you, do something about Rafa, one from Mothers Against Genocide, do something please about the children, this is a war on children. And finally, the 15th of May is Nakba Day, you know what that means, and we have requested that the Doyle fly the Palestinian flag on Nakba Day. And I just want everybody in this house to back up that request one day the Ukrainian flag flew for long enough. One day we're asking for the Palestinian flag to fly on Nakba Day, and hopefully Trinity will be doing the same thing on that day. That's it's really definitely. important that we act and take a leaf from the, the books of the students whose courage and bravery and determination is actually getting places and forcing sanctions, not just here, but around Thank the world. Thank well, I do, think, I do think more broadly, I'm not going to comment on any individual protest, but I do think more broadly, I do think our universities uh, should reflect in relation to, uh, in relation to links uh, and, and divestment. And, and I do think, uh, and I, I note a number of them are now, and I think, that's, I think that's important. I don't buy into the idea, Deputy Smith, that this House or this government has done nothing um, in relation to the Palestinian situation. I don't think the Palestinian Authority uh, view that. I certainly don't think the Israeli government think that's the position of this country either, uh, whether it's through supporting UNRWA in terms of additional humanitarian aid, whether it's our, our intention to very shortly recognise the state of Palestine and the conversations I had as recently as this weekend uh, with the Spanish Prime Minister in relation to that, whether it's the association agreement review we're seeking at a European level. This, part, this government has been very, very clear, and I think there's a rock that has been very, very clear in wanting to see an immediate end to all violence, an immediate ceasefire, uh, the aid absolutely flowing, and of course the release of all the hostages. Thank you.